For the first time in history, pro skateboarders will get the chance to grind it out for the world to see. It's been accepted by the uh, by the mainstream world, I guess. So, you know, maybe like the whole like stigma of skateboarders being like punks or, uh, you know, up to no good, it will go away. Peter Carvinen, owner of Faith Skate Supply, says he's been a part of the skate life for years and he's glad skateboarding is now an Olympic sport. Everybody's skateboarding. We're getting our first huge skate park downtown Birmingham now. Um, municipalities are building skate parks everywhere for people. But for many spectators, the ins and outs of skateboarding competitions are new. So how does it work? At the Olympics, skateboarding is broken up into two competitions, street and park. Street is exactly what it sounds like. A course made up of stairs and rails inspired by the cities where this happens in the world. The park is very much like, that's enjoyable to watch. That's the big flying stuff, the big airs and the big grinds and people are just flying around the big pools and stuff. Carvinen says he hopes the Tokyo Olympics will open people's eyes to the very difficult sport and earn respect from brand new viewers. In Birmingham, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.